A rhythm that you will encounter a lot in your cello playing life is the dotted eighth, sixteenth rhythm. Uh, a lot of times it can be hooked. We're going down, down, up, up, down. Okay. Uh, famously in the Suzuki method, we learned we first learned this rhythm when we're doing uh, Happy Farmer. Yes. Okay. So you know. <laughs> Like that. The mistake that everyone makes is turning it into a triplet. You must remember that it's when we're doing dotted eight sixteenth notes, it's a three fourth one fourth division. Yes. When you play a triplet, if you go, then you're playing two thirds one third. Okay which would be incorrect. If you want to play a dotted eight sixteenth, you have to first somehow hear all the subdivisions. This is why I always recommend slowing things down and using a metronome that does subdivisions. So what I mean by that is I'm going to turn my metronome here to sixteenth notes. All right, let me just show you this here. Focus. See how all those sixteenth notes are there? Oh, get focused. See how the 16th notes are there in the upper right hand corner? And I can change it to something else. There's a 16th. There's like a triplet, every other triplet. There's all the triplets. Okay, that's like the offbeats there. Okay, uh, it's two eighth notes, and then of course, quarter. Four of them, right? Because I want to hear one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and And I'm going to slow it down so that I can understand. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, da, 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 one, E, and da. And let's play along. I'm just going to do a little C major scale. Or however slow you need to go, okay? Then and only then, and I would do this in any piece where you have dotted eight sixteenth to be proactive and make sure that you're not playing a triplet. Okay, because watch, the triplet sounds like this. I'm going to go the same tempo here. And as soon as you hear all the subdivisions, it is instantly noticeable, the difference. All right, I'm going to go back to the 16th for a second. The challenge is when you speed back up to whatever your goal tempo is, that short note, you know, between triplet and sixteenth note, they get a lot closer together. Yes. So slow it down so that you internalize what the difference feels like. Okay. Three fourth, one fourth. So that when you do speed it up here, let me go even faster than I did before. All right, that you learn to make that short note really short when you have a dotted eight sixteenth note rhythm.